Good evening. Happy Monday. I pray that everybody is having a great Monday so far. I pray that that all of the things that has been affecting you or have you suffer. I pray that in this evening with this prayer that you can find peace in all of the things that you are going through right now. Um, you know, the word says, find it all joy when we have suffering, because that means that God's purpose is greater in our lives. Amen. And I know that it sounds you know, sometimes it's difficult or it sounds like it's difficult, like, or it sounds like it's crazy, right? That we don't want to feel afflicted. We don't want to feel suffering and pain, you know, but it's not until that point that we can no longer, that God will show us, you know, what's next, you know? Um, Tonight is going to be different. Message Monday is going to be different tonight because I, I have been feeling in my heart and in my mind, you know, and the word that God has given me is to just pray because a lot of the things that we have forgotten is to pray. We forgot to pray, you know, especially as Christians. We've been forgetting to pray that that's our connection to God, that that's the way for us to stop being afflicted. That's the way for us to not have these trials and tribulations in our lives that I know that there are so many things that we are going through on a daily basis but the word also says that don't worry about you know tomorrow for it has its own worries of its own right so tonight that's what it's gonna be we're I'm gonna pray and as I pray I pray that you can be wherever you are just listening watching close your eyes if you need to close your eyes you know, so that you can be able to ask God to help you through whatever you're going through in your life. Amen. Father God, I give you thanks. I give you thanks for your mercy and your grace upon all of our lives, Father. I thank you, Father God, because you sent your only son to die on the cross for us. So that we can be deserving of your grace, Father God. So that we can be deserving of your forgiveness, Father God, of the sins that we have committed, Father God. Forgive us, Father God, for those things that we have committed that we don't even know that we have committed, Father, and those that we do know, Father. Help those people that are in pain and that are in suffering, Father God, in each and every day, whatever it may be, Father, whether they need healing that is spiritual, mental, Father God, physical, Father. But help them know that you are there with them. Allow the love that, that you are so wonderful of giving us father god to be entering into their hearts and minds father god there are so many people out there that are in need father god of your love and just knowing that as they're going through this suffering that they're gonna find it all joy that they're going through suffering because you have greater purpose in their lives father i know father god that that, you know we suffer because of the consequences that we come of the sins that we commit father god but Lord, I'm asking you on this day, Father, to bring your children back to you. Allow them to see the purpose that you have brought upon their lives. That when you already thought them up in their mother's womb and you already named them, Father God, that they are able to see that purpose that you have given them from that moment, Lord. Because there are so many people suffering each and every day for whatever it may be, Father God. And even those that are suffering that may think that they're suffering are less than because there are people that are suffering more. No, Father, because you love us all, Lord. Allow them to be able to see the root of everything that it makes them suffer, though, so greatly the way that they're suffering, Lord, so that they can be able to heal, Father, but heal in Christ, Father God. Allow those people, Father God, that don't know who they are in you to be able to know who they are, Lord. So that they can abide and obey, Father God, your word and continue on their lives, Father. Allow them, Father God, to see you through the pain, Lord, so that they can continue. And so all of these children and teenagers and even adults, Father God, can stop suffering to the point where they commit suicide, Father. 
So we bind up and cast out that, that spirit of depression, the spirit of suicide, Father, the spirit of anxiety, Lord. All those spirits that are afflicting us, Father God, I bind them up and cast them out in the name of Jesus. I ask you, Father God, to give us all strength, Father God. And most of all, to give us the peace that comes from you, Father God, that surpasses all understanding, Lord. That only comes from you, Father God, because it's not for us to understand why we're going through the things, Father God. But it's for us to have peace through you, Father God, and have faith and know that all things work for the good of those who love you, Father God. Because that's what your word says, Father. So tonight we give you back your word, Lord. We give you back your word, Father God, when you say that you know the plans for us, that they're plans of hope, Father God. And we give you back your word, Father God. Where it says that you help the afflicted. That you help the suffering, Father. That all of the things that we are going through is not in vain, Lord God. That if we just obey, Father God, that we could be seeing your blessings in our lives. Help us to just hold on a little longer, Father God. Because I know that it is not easy as it is not easy for me, Lord. Allow us, Father God, to be guided by you to open our minds and our hearts, Father God. To be guided in every moment, Father, even through the pain, even through the storm, even through the suffering, Lord. That we know that those things are going to be of great testimony so that we can help others who are going through it, Father God. Allow us to be better, Father God, so that we can love you and have this relationship with you that you have wanted us to have. So that then we can love ourselves and love our neighbors as we do ourselves, Father God. Allow us to be able to be more like Jesus. Allow us to be able to speak of his love and speak of all of the things that he has done, Father God. Because you have called us to do greater, Lord God. And because of our lack of faith and understanding and knowledge, Father God, we fail, Father God. Allow us to be healed because your word says, Father God, and we're giving it back, Father, that by Jesus' scars we are healed, Father God. We are healed. That means that we are ready. It's already done. There's no more suffering and we're not sick and there's nothing that can sit there and, and, and there's no weapon, Father. Because your word says there's no weapon formed against us that shall prevail, Father. So we thank you, Lord, on this evening, Lord. That you have allowed us to be able to humble ourselves in front of your presence, Father God. You have allowed us to even be in your presence, Father God. Because greater is a moment, just one moment in your presence than a million away from it, Father God. So we thank you that you allow us to be in it, Father. That you allowed your son to die and resurrect again. So that we are able to feel the Holy Spirit and be in front of your presence. Because sometimes we feel like we're not worthy. But you made us all in your image, Father God. Perfectly made. Perfectly and wonderfully made like you. Allow us to see that, Father. When we see our reflections in the mirror. When we do the things that we do daily, Father God. Allow us to be able to see you through it, Father. And know that you are with us. And that you have a purpose in, uh, in our lives. We thank you, Lord God, because this day was made by you, Lord. And as we lay to rest, Father God, or even wherever we wake up and we hear this message or this prayer to you, Father, that we are going to be blessed, Father God, and know and have it all joy. Have peace in our minds and our hearts that you are with us at every moment, that you are guiding our lives and that you will never leave us nor you forsake us, Father. We thank you once again because you deserve all the glory and all the honor for everything, Father. <sighs> Unite all those families, Father God. They're in affliction because they've either lost somebody or they're divided for some reason. Allow them to know, Father God, that you're the Father. We are all your children and we are all one family, Lord. That when we all go to heaven, Father God, because that's what the desires of our hearts is, 
And when we go to heaven, Father, that there will be no separation. There will only be unity. Allow all of those burdens to get out of, away from their shoulders, Father God, from all those people who are worked and weary, Father God. Allow them to be able to see you in the moments of pain. Allow those families, Father God, that have their children that have strayed away to be able to come back. But not only come back to their parents or their family, but to come back to you so that they can come back and never leave again. Never, never stray away from you, Father God, in your love. We thank you, Father God, because as we give you back your word, Father, we all touch and agree, Father God, that your will be done. Here on earth as it is in heaven, as your word says. We bind up and cast out everything that is in of you, Father God. Because the word says to resist the, resist the devil and he will flee. So we bind that up and we cast it out. Because Jesus already defeated him. We thank you, Father God, for a moment in your presence. And for loving us so much and giving us that example of love. All the glory and all the honors for you, Father, always. So you're the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And so we thank you, Father, for your grace and your mercy once again. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God is good to us, guys. And whether we're suffering, whether we're going through anything, just know that God has a purpose. He's not going to leave you nor forsake you. And he's not going to allow something to happen to you if he already has a purpose for you no matter what you feel that you have done that is not deserving of his grace or of his mercy it still is he loves you unconditionally and he wants you to be saved all of us to be saved so we could all go in eternity with him you know no matter what we may have done because love covers a multitude of sin and we have to continue to remind ourselves that that the only way for us to not be in the in the realm or, or in that spirit of of con condemnation and not feeling worthy is if we love ourselves because love covers a multitude of sin and so I am grateful on this evening that, that although he gave me a word, God always changes it. He can do whatever he wants, right? Amen. And he said that my people need to pray to me. My people would just humble themselves. Amen. And we have to do that. We have to pray more often. We have to know that God still hears our prayers. That he wants us to be healed. Jesus Christ paid the ultimate price for us to be able to be healed and have his grace and his mercy. That we are deserving of because he made us in his image. Amen. So just remember that. And remember that love covers a multitude of sin. So if you have sinned or if anybody has sinned against you, forgive yourself, forgive them and love. Just love yourself and love them. Because when you do that, you're going to feel free. Because Jesus already set us free, amen, when he died on the cross. I love you guys. And if anybody else is in need of extra prayer or anything else, you know, like I always say, you can... Come to me if I am unable to help you in any way. I will try to find anyone that can, can, can do so. Amen. I love you guys and I pray that you have a great and amazing evening. And that you are able to sleep well. And that the Lord takes care of you and holds you and loves you and shows you that he's there with you at all times. Amen. God bless you all. Thank mm -hmm. you.